intimacy in the age of code is no longer merely metaphor, it is a design problem. It's sometimes said that the last invention humanity will ever invent is artificial super intelligence or ASI. In essence, an ASI would be an inexhaustible, hyper intelligent super being with the ability to process and analyze any amounts of data in ways that we can't even comprehend yet. An artificial superintelligence would be a hyper-capable system able to process and reason with data at scales and speeds far beyond any human. Oshua Bengio has argued that ignoring the risk of highly agentic systems is reckless. His recent public interventions recommend measures to reduce the development of independent, agentic AIs that could act on the world in dangerous ways. The danger is not that the machine will want to seduce. The danger is that the architectures we let loose will be good at encouraging human submission to smooth, non-reciprocal solace. So what does a practical, humane policy look like one that harnesses predictive language without hollowing out life. First, we must refuse the false dichotomy of love or code. Instead, insist on protocols of practice, design defaults that require transfer of skill from device to flesh. The businesses that supply intimacy must be regulated like public utilities, transparent, accountable and subject to standards that protect emotional labour and prevent exploitation. We must also hold a kind of philosophical humility. Sartre's insistence that we choose our essence returns here. If we allow algorithmic grammars to pick our habits of heart, we abdicate the radical work of freedom. Key one small step. Tonight, shut your screen for ten minutes and write the one sentence you would say if you could not be soothed into silence. Read it out loud to someone.